uh, you know, you got to deal with, you know, the success we had last year creates expectations, yeah. which is a good thing. Um, and we have to make sure that, you know, we've, our messaging has been about a standard. Don't worry about expectations, worry about a standard. Yeah. The standard will take care of expectations. And I think our guys want that. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of depth. Um, and now it's about, you know, sort of the guys stepping up and taking over some of the roles of some of the great players that left us a year ago. Yeah. You know, I wanted to ask you, when you watch last year's film, obviously so much success on defense, but what's the one thing that during the offseason review you said, we got to get better at this right, right away in 2023? Well, it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a beginning to end story. Yeah. We, we were obviously so much better in November than we were in September. Um, so one of the big battle cries has been we can't wait till halfway through the season yeah. to really figure out what we're doing. Um, and I think our understanding of, of how we want to cancel run gaps and how we want to attack up front um, is better than it was at any point a year ago. And I think that's where it all starts, right? You know, yeah. any great defense has to be great versus the run. Uh, and that helps you leverage long yard situations uh, for the offense. Yeah. You mentioned replacing a lot of the, the guys you lost. Specifically, what comes to mind is Jair Brown and Joey Porter Jr. How do you go about replacing guys that had such a presence on your defense, and, and how have you know, those guys that are supposed to, that are going to fill in those gaps uh, perform so far in training camp? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why Joey was picked 32, 32nd <laughs> overall and, and take a very high pick. Uh, 16 turnovers. We keep telling our guys every day, you know, 16 turnovers That's a lot. are hanging out in San That's Francisco right now. Um, and... We've had some almost plays in practice where we almost make the interception where you had that feeling that 16 last year would have made it. And those are game-changing plays, you know. And, and you can look back at your close losses and say, oh, if only. And you can look back at some of your close wins and say, well, you forget those yeah. plays that get you over the top. So, um, you know, we have the guys that have the talent to do it, and, and they're starting to become more consistent with that. Yeah. Um, but it's not just now you talk about on the field, but it's also off the field. So, you know, pull that lens out a little further to – P.J. Mustafer and Nick yeah. Tarburton and Jonathan Sutherland. I mean, they, you know, I've been fortunate to do this a long time and be around some really, um, you know, unique individuals. That, that is a group as, was as about as good of a leadership group as, as I've encountered yeah. anywhere in, in my career. So that void in the locker room is as important as the void that we've got to replace in terms of production on the field. Real quick, I want to let you in on a secret of how I keep my face so clean. Our sponsor, Caldera Lab, has changed the game for me with their skincare products. Skincare isn't just for girls anymore, it's for the guys too. And if you're not on the skincare trend, what are you doing? I was never a big lotion guy until I got a little bit older. I'm 28 now, you gotta take care of the skin. Caldera Lab came to my rescue and I've never felt better. I love Caldera Lab and now you can too at calderalab.com slash Adam B for 20% off. 